So here we are then for the final round of Championship 19. So I'm in China, not on the calendar, but in the game for a breaking point. How are you feeling about this circuit? This circuit I normally go well around, so I'm looking forward to it. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. As long as I just get through the back marker AI, we should be fine. And um, let's go out, have fun. The day is July 1st. So, after this is finished, I may do a little bit of sorting. Uh, maybe later today I'll do some setting, sort, setting sorting for F122, but. Yeah, today F122 comes out, and I've been a little bit poor with when I do these races. I could have done this earlier in the week. It just felt right to do it now, though, because it's part of the weekend. Anyway, let's just go, have fun, and that's all we can do. Welcome engineers, the race have a problem, today's problem is getting through the Chinese Grand Prix. Uh, it's looking sunny for qualifying. Uh, the chance of rain does increase ever so slightly throughout the session. Uh, it turns a bit cloudy towards half hour through. And then completely at the end of the session, it is raining uh, very cloudy. Uh, the first 10 minutes of the race are going to be cloudy, so it does look like there's going to be a high chance of rain at some point. First 18 minutes, 18% chance. Um, and then it turns sunny after uh, a quarter of the race. And then it gets cloudy again, with 11% chance of rain. And then completely cloudy and p completely raining, with 69% chance at one hour. Then heavy rain, an hour and a half away through at 9% chance. And then the end of the race, 9% chance of heavy rain. So it looks like strategy is going to go out the window. So I'd say we go soft medium until the rain, I think. Wait a minute. It came in around 60. Right, no validation through the final corner this time. Let's go do the lap. Uh, I'll do. Fine. Seems like we have a lot of extra fuel. We can also go quicker. Just how? I'm not quite sure. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. But I should have thrown a party for Jeff. For his final race with me. Okay, he's knocked out Q1. We got a healthy lead over the other guys. Daniel Ricardo, um, in P16. Well, I don't know. I haven't counted. Probably a high amount of times. We're probably above 10. Lance Stroll along, uh, lines, lines up along Sonoda. Um, both are not as uh, both not at their high as they can be in this game. Lance Stroll. I don't think he can go much higher anyway. Nicholas Latifi and Nikita Mazbin 
final we had a grid, Latifi got some points but the bail on luck and Mazepin is just very far off the pace. Let's go to Q2. Find out how easy it's going to be to gain three points on Mercedes. Hopefully that will do. Right, coming at the end of this lap. So out of the four drivers that went out on circuit, only one of them improved a position. The other two of them didn't improve on their lap at all, and the other one just improved his lap time but not position. So here we are now. At the end of Q2, we have Sergio Perez lines up alongside Kimi Raikkonen. Um, not often that's happened, and um, Kimi's had a few words to say about Perez in his past, namely one Monaco Grand Prix when Perez was in Sauber. I want to hit that guy when I see him. Yeah, give you a clue. Carlos Sainz and Mick Schumacher once again, two people vouching for the Ferrari seat. Both of them not really performing as well as they could. Carlos Sainz will get a confidence boost after Canada though. Esteban Ocon in P15 lines up alongside Strong. Esteban Ocon getting out of Q2, getting into Q2 for the first time in a long while. And Mercedes 18, 12, 30. Uh, we need an upset. Let's go to Q3. Okay, that'll do. Fantastic. That was the fastest lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. That will do for now. Fairly boring session. Only two people went out at the end of Q3. So, yeah, it's a bit odd. And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Giovinazzi, Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. To finish the rest of the grid, we have Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris. The Brit locking out the second row of the grid. Charles Leclerc and Valtteri Bottas, they've had some battles, I believe. Let's see if they can continue that today. Sebastian Vettel and Pierre Gasly shared the podium in Baku last year. Let's see what they can do this race. And Fernando Alonso and George Russell. Um, these two had a fight for 10th place once um, in Austria. George Russell losing out and finishing 11th, I believe. Let's go to the race, find out what we can do. At the moment, Mercedes are on 23 points. Yeah, they are, and that is all we need, so as long as they finish in that position, we're fine. Go to the race, hand you over to Crofty, hopefully we can do it, hopefully Kimmy can get into the points and help us. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. We're here in the Yangtze River Delta today, home of the 16 corners that make up the Shanghai International Circuit. 54% of this 3.3 mile lap is taken at full throttle and we'll be getting up to speeds of around 200 miles an hour with DRS assisting the cars down the back straight before they break into the sharp hairpin at turn 14. 
And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Antonio Giovinazzi put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, he'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Norris, Charles Leclerc and Bottas, Vettel, Gasly, Fernando Alonso and George Russell, Perez, Raikkonen, Carlos Sainz and Mick Schumacher, Ocon, Ricardo, Lance Stroll and Yuki Tsunoda, Latifi and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Made a mistake, said um, uh, Ocon was lining up against Strong. He's lining up against Ricardo. Whoopsie. Uh, best strap, soft, soft, medium. Lap 17 and 34. I don't think we can go that far though. We'll try our best though. See what we can do. Uh, mm, what's the best one after? 16 and 32 for the two stop for soft of hard. Mm. We won't need a second strap. The rain will come, hopefully. 0, 5, 10, 15, 30, 45, 60, 90. Yep, one hour into the race. Say it, it's predicting that it will be lap 37. So as long as we can get that far, we should be fine. Hopefully, we can do it on the sauce as well. Two DRS strikes, so we'll go 58 lapses of fuel. Everything looks good on the power unit cycle, so let's concentrate on bringing tyres and brakes up to temperature. Yep, well, a bit late. Well, no longer will we have to do that. Next time I'll be going towards the uh, lining up on the grid, I'll be doing it myself. That's a good launch from both me and Max. Kept Lewis behind. Not sure about Voucher though. Looks like he's alongside Le uh, McLaren. Might be an Alpha Tauri though, MP4. That'd be good for the constructors. I 
can't tell who's where though. And it's only going to get more difficult. Thank you, Jeff. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Thank you, Jeff. I still think it's thank you because he's complimenting me on my job, on my work. Even though I'm giving him something, he's complimenting me, so he's giving me something. Look what one of the Alpines. We're leading our teammate by 40.5 seconds. They're on okay. the softs. They're in 16. The time last lap was a 1 minute 47.8. 16th, really? Come on. That's worse than being out the race. At least once you're out of the race, you don't know where you'd finish. Decided that if I can't make it to lap 19, I'm gonna go on hard. Because if I can't, if the game thinks I can only do 14 laps, I need to. I need to do more than 19 to make up for it. And seeing as mediums only go a little bit longer than soft, hards are the best option. Obviously, I'll check the time where around lap 14, see if I can extend it at lap 12. Otherwise, I'll just come in.
Jeff did. That's a new fastest lap of the race. Jeff did say at the end of the last lap that Ty wear is fine. But I'm not sure. I'll just keep going for now. Keep asking. I'll ask every lap after lap 12. Okay, we might as well pit the uh, lap 14 then. We'll do the hards. It means we push now. Okay. Oh, bye bye. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Copy. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. The pit box is currently full. Stay out on track. Stay out on track. Computer says no. Mediums won't get me. Softs will though. Go, go, go. That was almost good. Oh, where's Kimmy? Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Fresh mediums, they're in 15th. Really? Wow. Great. Wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. Where is said safety car? It's picked up someone. Oh no. There it is. Safety car now, do not pass it. You are the leader. Follow the safety car. <laughs> Great, so I've just ruined Kimmy's race. Oh no, I've gone off the circuit. If I fall further back enough, the safety car will let them guys go. Right. They need to overtake it, but they won't. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, that's a no no for the curbs, man. So finally, the other AI are within my pit region. But, so, maybe that is probably going to come in at the end of the next lap, hopefully. That way I can sort out my ERS a little bit better.
You three need to overtake the safety car. Two things that I've taken away from that safety car. You got damage on the underbody body, very stupidly. And Lewis is now P2. So meaning I'm getting eight more points than him. And if Valtteri gets sick for above, we we don't gain any points. So I really need Max to overtake Lewis and Valtteri to be lower than 6. Not 6 for lower, lower than 6. I'm sure I've already got a penalty somewhere. Probably got under safety car when I went through a yellow flag. Because I'm sure I've gone off the circuit more than three times. Rain is uh, on its way. May see some rain. ETA is about 15 minutes. Dry seem like the fastest tire at the moment. Turn one's giving me a lot of trouble at the moment. I'm not sure why. I think it could be the damage we've got, but I doubt it. It wouldn't force me wide. Jeff's saying there's going to be some rains 
in the next few minutes. But if you look, it is not that cloudy. So unless the clouds roll in very quickly, I don't see it raining anytime soon. Okay, never mind, the, rain, the clouds are here. And so it will be raining anytime short now. Um, oh, there's the rain. We've just gone past halfway. And I'm not sure if it's going to be heavy enough, but I'm seeing if we can go just one wet tyre. So, inters or just wet. I'll, have a, I'll ask Jeff about the forecast again, but, you know, we could just go two stop through that, throughout this race here. DRS is still active. Alright, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I think we could go straight to wets. I'm not sure though. Can we do a reverse of Carlos? The temperatures are dropping. Once they go below 80, I think we're going to come in. Because the optimal is 90, but you don't, you can survive with them lowering in 80, but with them lowering in 90. Championship update: Lewis is still P2. There's five cars between Lewis and Valtteri, so Max P3. Lando P4, Pierre P5, uh, Charles P6, and Bottas P7. At the moment, that's 18 to Lewis, 6 to Valtteri. So they're getting 24, I'm getting 26. We need them to drop one place, one of them. Oh, what am I doing? Sketchy race so far, over halfway. Come on. How long have we got left? Completed 32. So 24 left? Okay. 4% of VRS a lap, and then for the final four laps, we'll use five. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. Yellow flag. It's a big risk on the wets. At least another ten minutes until this rain evens out. Stay alert out there. Inters seem like the fastest tyre for now. 
if it keeps getting heavier, we'll be fine. That was too much of a risk. Uh, although Bottas did have to stay out an extra lap when he had to come in for inters. So hopefully he's lost the position there, so we should be fine. Okay, that's bad. These conditions are only getting worse. Watch out for standing water. Okay, Jeff. Well, considering you told me to come in and change for wets, I'm going to do that, aren't I, Jeff? <coughs> release, release. Now it's time for wet. Championship update. There is no update. 
Bottas is still 7th, Lewis still P2, together they're still getting 24 points, and I'm getting 26. Final three laps, let's push. We've got a lot of BLS to use. Final lap. Final lap of the race. Let's go. Finish the season in style. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. Come on. <sighs> That's all we can do for the constructors. Hopefully our uh, more hopefully our wins put us P1. So Alfa Romeo have won it, and what a great race it was. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack, and having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. Alfa Romeo have been winning fans the world over with their brilliant driving, showing that they're a force to be reckoned with out there on the track. They'll certainly be building on that fan base after today's excellent results. There we go. Lewis P2. 18 points for him. 8 points for Valtteri most likely. Two P's off centre. Um. Oh, what a surprise. It's sunny after the Grand Prix. Nice one game. Oh, there goes my controller. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Mick Schumacher gets my vote today. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Schumacher lapped four, four times. Yeah, it's very annoying. Six points, yeah. We do win, though. Whew, let's go. Come on. It doesn't feel like a proper win because we're not above them on point. But we're not got more points. We've got equal points, but you know how I do. And for the final time. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. No track limits at all. Oh wow. That's actually surprising. Yeah, we've got a three second stop. Two and a half. Two and a half again. Two and a half for the final one. I mean, that's actually surprising. 
I've got nothing to talk about now. <laughs> well, okay. I guess highlights from now and then interview. It got very wet very quickly. Um, I think what happened here is... Well, I know what happened when trying to get back on the circuit, I just didn't want to get on the racing line. Which is right there. As you can see by these two. Like, if I reversed, I would have hit them. What actually happened though? I just lost the rear end, I went too much on the power. Like, I could have done it then, but... I think I had enough... I, had a, I think I had a big enough gap to do so. I think I was just worried of doing another Australia. Cool. Yeah, P1. Let's go. Come on. Give me P11, not bad. <laughs> Almost getting Perez. So that is the end of F1 21, F1 There we go. Interview now. So you have completed your first season of Project Ultimate, which will be renamed for the second season due to Project Ultimate actually being the name of the game. Yeah, I didn't realise that. Um, China was brilliant. Amazing result. Easy. Kimmy lets down a little bit, could have had an easier route to the championship in the constructors if he hadn't retired, but you know that's how the cookie crumbles and um, yeah we're looking forward to championship 39, we'll lap the AI a little bit less than this season but it is very much an exciting prospect. F122 is officially out now. The reason these are so late after it's out is because I'm on holiday. So episode one and two are done and then I'm on holiday for two weeks. So yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, I'm not sure if actually I should do episode one and two tom uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Because two week gap, kind of want to get used to the game. I'll do it. Looking forward to it, and I have a feeling you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So, yeah, it's going to be a really fun time, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm repeating myself now. Yes, yes, you are. Um, thank you for the answer, nonetheless. nonetheless. Uh, that will be all. No problem. Uh, until you race out, oh, your engineer can't fix. I'm an amazing engineer. Bye.